Okay, so remember my, um, my theme here. Simplify, 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 all right? So we always got to make sure we're simplifying these terms. And you know, one thing we can always look at is when looking at this, we, we know we could always set a restriction on both of our denominators by setting them equal to zero, even after our simplified form, and just say x cannot equal those values. But when looking at this, before I even apply my operations, before I try to multiply these, I want to simplify all these terms. So I can't simplify the x plus 5, but in my denominator, I can factor out a 4 times. Here, I can factor out a 2. Just make sure I wrote that down correctly. OK. So I'll factor out a 2, and I'll be left with an x squared minus 16. OK. That's what I see. Then we notice that x squared minus 16, that can be factored out as well, right? x squared minus 16, that can be written as x minus 4 times x plus 4. So I'm going to erase this and actually write it in that factored form. Divided by, I have another difference of two squares. x squared minus 25 is going to be x minus 5 times x plus 5. Now what we want to do is determine what values, since we can go across our multiplication symbol, we could just rewrite this as one huge multiplication problem. But since we can um, divide amongst our multiplication symbol, we need to determine what values divide out. Well, x plus 5 divided by x plus 5 goes to 1. x minus 4 divided by x minus 4, that goes to 1. Therefore, I'm left with a 2 times x plus 4 divided by a 4 times x minus 5. Then I can simplify this as to x plus 4 divided by x minus 5. And 2 fourths divides into 1 half. Well, I don't need to write the 1. I can just write the 2 on the bottom. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you multiply your rational expressions. Thanks.